Okay, in this video, we're going to look at function notation. For example, you know, f of x equals 3x plus 4, that type of thing. And um, we will do an example that's uh, like one in the homework, and we will do exactly exercise 26, okay? So let's begin. Cost of peanuts, for example, is $3 per pound plus $12 shipping. Okay, so we would say that the cost equals 3 times the number of pounds plus $12, right? So if you got 10 pounds, it would be 30 plus 12, $42, right? So we could say cost of X is 3X plus 12. Now, in math, we have this notation that looks like this. C, parenthesis X, close parenthesis equals 3x plus 12. And what that is saying is cost of x, c of x, cost of x is 3x plus 12. Why do we even bother with it? Because if you use that notation, you can do this, c of 10 equals 3 times, and where do you think the 10 goes, by the way, if x is 10? Wouldn't 10 go here, right? 3 times 10 plus 12. So C of 10 equals, that's 30 plus 12, 42. And now, if we just had this on its own, it says a lot. C, parenthesis 10, it says C of 10 equals 42. Or, um, basically what it's saying is cost of 10 pounds equals $42, okay, cost of 10 pounds is $42. So that's why we have uh, function notation, so that in one uh, sentence or equation, we can see the input and the output all at once, okay? And that's all. So we might want to get cost of 20, go ahead and do that, get cost of 20 pounds. Now, cost of x is 3x plus 12, so that's 3 times the x plus 12, 3 times 20 plus 12, so c of 20 is 60 and 12, 72, right? So now let's say in cost of 20 pounds is 72 dollars, c of 20 equals 72, right? Let's have a look at this example. Sales tax is a function of purchase. Sales tax is 8.5% of purchase price. We have to turn that sentence into an equation using function notation. First trick, take this percentage and turn it into a decimal. 8.2% is 8.2 per 100 divided by 100 or 0 0.082, right? Now, sales tax is 8.2% of purchase price. So you could say that the tax is equals 8.2% of the price. What's the input? What's the output? Well, your price is your input, isn't it? So your price would probably be X and this is 0 0.082, so 0 0.082 of x, how about that? And tax we could write as, say, t with a big t, okay? So what we have is t equals that of x, now that means multiply, so that's 0 0.082 times x, okay? So we have t equals that. Now, if you want to use function notation, it's t of x equals 0.082x. And if you want to try out your uh, new func formula, you could do this. So you could go, okay, tax on a purchase of $100 equals 0.082 times 100. And if you plug that in the calculator, you'll find tax on a purchase of $100 is 8.2 or $8.20. That makes sense, doesn't it? 
that times 100. Now, exercise 26, the volume of a sphere is a function of the radius. Volume is 4 third pi times the cube of the radius. So, interesting, volume is 4 thirds pi times the cube. What do you think the cube of the radius is, first of all? The cube of the radius. That's the radius cubed, or r to the power of 3, which is r times r times r, r cubed. Remember that? So what we have is volume is 4 thirds pi times the cube of the radius, times r cubed. The volume is a function of the radius. So volume is the output. Uh, radius is the input R, volume is a function of radius. Volume given radius is 4 third pi R cubed and you can just write these things beside each other. When you have variables written beside each other it means multiplication in algebra. Okay? And if you want to try out your formula what is the volume of a um, of a sphere with radius, uh, let's say, 3 feet. B of 3 would be 4 thirds pi times 3 cubed, and we covered that in the previous chapter. That would be um, 4 thirds pi times 27, and so on. Okay.